Bros play. Oh, uh, welcome back. We are definitely gonna go back to what I was talking about, but first, look what I noticed over here. Are those are those tiny alien hominids in a game with a similar art style and side-scrolling action? <gasps> Conspiracy. <laughs> You'll have to tell me. I actually can't see through the camera. Oh shit. I mean, <laughs> no, it is. It's, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're just little white blobs for me. That's a great idea for a joke. It's like, oh, is is that what that is? Uh, I don't, I don't know. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're telling me, bud. Oh shit! So back to what you were saying it's, while we. It's they're slaving away making alien hominid. Is this a social commentary on what they had to do in order to make alien hominid? <gasps> it's it's a social commentary. He's scratching his buttocks, which reminds me, a common household ant bit me on the ass twice a few days ago, and it itches. You you're gonna have to explain how it bit you the second time. Well, I didn't notice that it was biting me. It was a tiny ant. Okay, I'll buy, goodbye then. Yeah, you're, they you're just welcome. fell through the floor. What the they, fuck? they didn't even try to help me. Like, you're welcome for saving you. It's fine. Don't worry yeah, about that's it. true. They actually were just like, oh, thanks, dude. Peace. Yeah. Good um, luck. You were talking about something. People are probably frustrated. We haven't gone back to it. Yeah, probably. I expect, like, if you don't frustrate people, you're probably not doing it right. <laughs> well, that's actually a good point. I feel like it's hard to do <laughs> that's just, something just audio that, it's something that people with a lot of haters like to believe about themselves it's like oh people everyone likes you you're probably not doing it right that's not true yeah <laughs> it doesn't have to be right i mean like look well at actually i don't know because there are people who don't like people who do well yeah but that's just an asshole way to look at look at life <laughs> this is true that's like, why at, people get like angry at pewdiepie for how much he makes yeah yeah well look at like look at betty white almost everyone likes betty white even if you're not necessarily into her style that's no. a really good point. Like Very she's... few people are objectionable towards yeah. Betty White. Like, and seriously, like, you meet someone, oh, a fucking fish. Oh, you got a sturgeon joke? I really like this, uh, semi, you know, throw that cleaver at him. I don't think I can throw up. You can try. There you go. You can try. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know where that came from. You can try if you wanna. <laughs> exactly. You can throw a fish in the sky. Uh, yeah, I really like this semi-shadow effect. Where everything's darkened, but you can still actually see the colors a bit. It's very atmosphere. Very such atmosphere. Wow, atmosphere. Um, Many okay. atmospheres. <clears throat> Before we forget, let's go back to Bioshock. <laughs> you, just, you just massacred those people. I did. That was actually awesome. This is reminding me a little bit, actually, of the Batman games, which is how detailed the fight scenes are. Yeah. Once I've, Now that I've played Arkham Knight, I can't go back. Uh, like as bad as it is on the, like, it's really, really poorly done on the PC as far as optimization goes. Um, but it's just so much more detail uh, than the second, uh, than yeah, the Arkham Arkham City. Like Arkham City feels like a PlayStation 2 game in comparison <laughs> as far as graphics. Well, it's the go. same for this. Imagine going back to playing Shank One after this. Yeah, I can't go back, brother. Go back. No way. It was slow and clunky by comparison. Don't make me go back there. Okay, we need to get back to fucking Bioshock before I finish this fucking statement. So who are the two guys, the two big, the two big biggins, um, at war in Bioshock? Like, you walk into a fight between oh, Andrew, Andrew Ryan... Andrew Ryan and Frank Fontaine. Fontaine. So Fontaine gets sunk to the, the, the bottom of the ocean. His Ew. whole palace does. And you never go there in the original Bioshock. And in Bioshock Infinite's DLC, you play the same characters from Bioshock Infinite in a different timeline where they go to Frank Fontaine's underground, or underwater, I guess everything's underwater. <laughs> um, underwater area. And it feels like Bioshock 1, but it's in Bioshock Infinite. And it's in like a new engine, or I, or I, I don't know if it's, a, right, if it's a new engine, but it feels nice. And they brought back stealth mechanics. Um, no, I do not want to quit. They, however, did not bring back the wrench, and for that, I will never forgive them. Yeah, for that, we fail you. <laughs> it's true, no, the, I, the I, wrench is actually a really important aspect. It was like what you were telling me about Dead Space, where they give you telekinesis as, like, a backup weapon. Yeah! You need to have sort of, like, a go-to... It's like the Shanks. Yes, it's just like Every the game has something like that. And, did they do um, a replacement, or did they just not think about it? Did you just punch people? They did a, like, a... a I don't, I don't like it. So they had this silly thing in, in Bioshock Infinite. I do plan on playing the, the, that with you. It's just, it's to not listen to the story would be, um, we just wouldn't be representing the game right. It's it it dry. It, it it's driven by a story and caring about the characters and stuff. But um, 
What was this thing? Oh, good job. Good dodge. Good dodge. Oh, counter. I love the choke out counter. Crazy, crazy. Effective. And I don't know what you were saying, actually, I'll be honest. Oh, yeah. Sky Rails. This is one of my least favorite things about the game, as much as I think a lot of people enjoyed it. Uh, you get this thing that grabs on to sky rails and then you fly around on them and it's just like I understand that it's a game where you can shoot fire and crows and shit and it's not really scientifically accurate but it's just so ridiculous because you'll fall so far and uh, and then just land on it and no problem and you'll hold on to Elizabeth while doing that like your arm would just be ripped off <laughs> but, but do you anyways, mean it's like the just cause thing where you're going at the ground and then yes. you grapple to the ground and it slows you? It is exactly like that, yeah. That's ridiculous, because that, that isn't actually about reality now. Like, what the hell is going on? Okay. Oh, there's a guy in the crane. Yeah, yeah I gotta shoot. Oh, okay. I was like, why is this boat possessed? Look at the three dimensions when it moves back and forth. It's fucking clever animation, man. Oh, okay. Oh, well, they, <laughs> they tricked you out on that one. We were watching for the side-to-side -side <laughs> animation. Yeah, see that? Yeah, wow. It's wow, really, is 3D. really clever. And it really, yeah, it, it's so well animated. The art style is perfect. It's not like this is going to look bad in 10 years. No, no, it looks fantastic. There's a lot of people who do that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> who are we to judge? Fucking Dirt Souls 2. <laughs> It is crazy how much work goes into a game, and then one simple error can make like such a big difference in the playability of that game. Mm -hmm. oh, I thought I had something that I missed there. Oh, this is a boss. They're actually considering this. Yeah, okay, that's cool. <laughs> fucking crane. But that's true. It's really like a an immobile boss is not really consistent with Shank. Yeah. I, that, that sounded really condescending, like, oh, okay, you're gonna call us a boss? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess, you know, some Well, this is a sub-boss, I guess. Like, this, at least they're not making, this isn't gonna end the level. Oh, I can walk through it. I assumed oh, it was an object. That's interesting. It, it lands on me and does damage, but I can walk past it. Well, I guess that would kind of make sense. If it's, like, just behind you a little, it dropping would mangle you still. What was that? A little. No, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. There's like a little purple thing that flew by my face. I don't know what it was. I think it might have just been an item. Because oh. everyone seems to drop a lot more stuff. I, I, yeah. Does it hurt them? No, I don't think so. Not that I noticed. Yeah, this this is kind of a tedious boss. Oh, I haven't like been fighting him. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering what you were doing. <laughs> I thought they were going to show up only when there was a certain amount of health on him. Yeah, and no, I think that's this is just like, supposed to be a grind. You're supposed to just like keep shooting it between being dropped on. Even for action heroes, life is a grind. Sometimes you gotta put enough bullets in the casing. <laughs> <laughs> and when the glass shatters, you gotta show them what you got. You can see it's getting damaged at least. So they, you know they did some animation on the boss too, but like the whole point of this game is like high intensity action. And like stopping massacring people so that you can shoot at a guy in a glass box just doesn't really. How do I do I think... that? I'm trying to do that that side to side shoot and I can't get it. I can't do it. I think it shoot one way and then point the other direction. Yeah, but it keeps stopping. I guess it's supposed to just be like you know you do a couple bullets like that because it really doesn't make a lot of sense shooting forwards and backwards. Yeah, see, like it's just like half does it. Yeah, I think they probably wanted it to be part of a combination. Yeah, he's not even gonna come out. He just keeps trying to drop the big old boat on you. He's yeah, not even he's trying like, to use like barrels or anything. He's just uh, good it, with the boat. It didn't work the first few times. Maybe it'll work the thirteenth. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't even think he's hit you once, man. Oh, he definitely hit me because my health is really fucking low. It's true, but you've been getting chipped away at for a really long time. That's very true. I love how it just drops. The boat just falls. Yeah. The th how they were attached. <laughs> he was a spirit animal. <laughs> I'm Boatkin. <laughs> oh my god. We're gonna go there. We're gonna go there. Let's do it right now. Let's there. um let's let's just let's just pick three minorities to make fun of. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's start with Sharkkin. <laughs> Fucking sharks. Oh, but we were just talking about that. Uh, oh no. That was off air. Um fucking uh fucking Wiz Wizards of Oz. Oh has, right. has the shark dude. 
That's the guy that they're making fun of when he's like, buddy potato chips, mate. <laughs> oh, right, I forgot about the shark head guy. He's a full shark. <laughs> oh, he's actually just a shark? Yeah. And what was cool is that they, oh, that's cool, is that they anim like really well animated his eyes, but very poorly animated his mouth, and it's a strange combination of animation. But uh, it's when they have, like, the two guys are making shark puns, and then the one guy just makes the, the really bad shark like, jokes. It's like, you're a fucking shark! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the really awkward joke. Yeah. Like that guy in the office who doesn't understand. Yeah, yeah that's basically what they did, but it was, uh, fuck, I love that show. I, I wanna, I'm, gonna, I'm probably gonna watch that again. The Wizards of Oz. The Wizards of Oz. Fuck it was you, a yeah, clever, very clever series. It Got was. It, what, oh, yes! Is that an anchor? Or this is a fucking engine. It's a boat engine. What? Yeah. You gotta get that spear. I'm really excited to see what we can do with that spear. I didn't see the spear. The fish. big guy came in with one. Bloody fucking fish, mate. That's a bloody <laughs> spear, mate. <laughs> no, let's, let's not do that. <laughs> Beat to death with a stick. Yeah, get, get that motor and then uh, make sure you counter the guy with the spear because I really want to see if you're going to stab it through him the same way or if they came up with a different set of animations. Can you throw that motor? Fuck. Yep. That would hurt a lot. Get down from the ledge there! That's 50 horses to the dome. Yeah, see that spear? That old spear, man. That fall, I love the fall mechanic. Spearman. Instead of get, instead of allowing him to just jump on your head, they made him fall down instead. <laughs> well, that was a pretty sweet grab. That wasn't a proper counter. Actually, that, that wasn't was a, a counter grab. at all. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I can counter this guy. Oh, you definitely. I think you can. It has to be an exclamation mark. Oh, so then maybe not. I guess I don't. Even, oh yeah, you can definitely counter the shovel guy. Yeah, maybe I just have to do enough damage. This guy, I think this guy might be a more intense enemy than we think. Well, maybe not. Yeah. Fucking spears, mate. It's on the next episode of Bros Play. I stab a guy. Hopefully. Oh, we're going to lose it. Yeah, I stabbed a guy through the heart with a spear. <laughs> Brett stabbed a guy. Oh, nice. I get to keep it. All right. Oh, look at that fucking gun. Oh, oh yes. Spear or gun. <laughs> Spear or gun. Spear. <laughs>